How's it going everybody? Tyler Schwartz here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over one of my favorite tricks that's arguably one of the most distinct tricks to Irish dancing. That being twists and how to do them in both soft and hard shoe. A twist is executed by stepping either forward or backward while exchanging your body weight to that new foot. While stepping out, the pressing foot twists out and in to create a window for the other foot to either step forward or backward. Twists can be done individually or combined into multiple twists at one time. They can also be done in either soft or hard shoes. When done in hard shoes, we can even add extra rhythm with a brush forward on twists going forward. Similarly to drums, twists can be taught a whole bunch of different ways, a whole bunch of different techniques. So today we'll be going over the technique that helped me out the most. Hopefully it helps you out as well. Real quickly before we dive into it, I just wanted to thank my patrons and members of the channel for their additional support of this channel. Thank you as well to FeshApp for providing the music for today's lesson. More information on FeshApp in the captions down below. Let's go ahead and dive into the lesson. Okay, so twists. We're gonna first work on these twists to the front. So we're talking about stepping forward with our right foot. We have our right foot in front and our left foot in back, heel to toe. We're stepping out with our right foot. And as we step forward, we're gonna put all of our body weight onto that foot. And as we put, as we transfer our body weight, to that foot, we're also gonna twist that foot out. So it's happening at the same time. We're not gonna go step, twist. We're gonna go step, twist. <laughs> that makes sense. Step, twist, no. Twist, twist. We're gonna step and twist. As we're twisting forward, ooh, we are opening that window for our back foot. As we open that window for the back foot, we bring that back foot forward. As it goes through the, the window, the window closes and closes as we put that new front foot down. So, twist, down. I'm not bringing it out and around, I'm bringing it straight forward. If you're watching Lefty Larry, Lefty Larry isn't going anywhere out here. He's coming straight forward. Right now he can't because righty whitey is in the way. But when I twist, I open that door up and I can bring it forward. Switch stop. One, two, so two counts. One, two. Ready? Two, three, and one, two. Two, three, and one, two. Do it even slower. Two, three, and one, two. So again, twist. Very important. Not step, twist. Twist. When we open the door, we don't bring this around. We bring it straight forward. And as we bring it forward, we close that window again. We don't want to go. We don't want that. We want to make sure we close that window. Okay. Let's try that again. Ready? Two, three, and step, twist. Two, three. Twist down. <laughs> I always called it step twist, but I think it's a better way to say <laughs> twist down. Twist down. Very good. With the left foot. Ready? Two, three, and twist down. Good. Twist down. Again, we don't want it to go out and around. We want to just bring it forward. Cool. Now, a good way to practice this is to push off two feet. Land on your back foot and step into your twist. Ready? Two, three, and push and twist down. Push down. So we're gonna push down. We're on our back foot, twist down. We're, on, we're at 50 50 by the end of this, by the way. After our twist down, we have about 50 50 on body weight balance. Okay. So we can loop this and do two of them. Let's try it. Two, three, and push and twist down. Push and twist down. Again, two, three, and push and twist down, push and twist down. Got it. Do, 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 do. One more time. Two, three, and 
push and twist up, push and twist up. Good. Now if you need to run over that again, just hit the rewind button, click back into the, try that all again. Yeah. Um, so we can actually do, this is just one twist, but we can link them up and do multiple twists. How do we do that? We just link them up. We step, twist, 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 twist. So we step, twist, or twist, we twist, whoop, twist, twist, down. We can do two in a row, we could do three in a row, we could do a whole bunch in a row. Um, but let's just do two in a row for now. Push, twist, twist. So we're gonna push off and we're gonna go straight into it. So instead of going one, two, three, four, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna go right into those twists. Ready? So, two, three, and hop, step, twist, twist. Hop, step, twist, twist, hop, twist, twist, down. Maybe that's a better way to phrase it. Hop, twist, twist, down. <laughs> Maybe that's just a tongue tweet. Tongue, tongue teaser. Two, three, and, and step, twist, twist. Left foot, two, three, and hop, step, twist, twist. Okay. So we have that, we can, we can do Hop and step, twist, hop and step, twist and three, two, three, and four, two, three, five, two, three, and six, two, three, seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, or we can go. And one, two, three, and a two, two, three, and a three, two, three, four, two, three, we can go on with that. So we got our two different versions there. Now, oh, can you hear my knuckles cracking? We can do this going backwards as well, back twists. So instead of pushing forward, we can go push back step. And now our back foot is twisting. Same idea. Push back step. When we put our foot down, it's step and twist at the same time. Twist. Our window is open. Otherwise, our, our front foot can't go back. We open the window, we close the window. Or open the door, close the door. Push back step, twist. And again, I'm not going around like this with my front foot, I'm going straight back. When I open the window, I can bring that back. Straight through. Quick, efficient, quickest, uh, quickest route, basically, from A to B. We don't go around, we go through. So, two, three, and push, and twist down. Push back, twist down. Push back, twist down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, in the same way, we could also do two in a row. Ready? Two, three, and push, twist, twist, down. Same idea. And one, two, three. You could do two to the front, two to the back. Two, three, and step, twist, twist, and back, twist, twist. And step, twist, hop, step, twist. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could do that. <laughs> Now I did mention we could do twists in hard shoe as well, so let's put on the, at least shoes that make sound. Okay. We got it. Okay, so we can do just a regular treble hop back. The front, our back foot starting at the down treble hop back. And the very, and the very tail end of that, we can then use our back as our twist as I open the door basically to do a back twist so let's try that nice and slowly two three and down treble hop twist back two three and a down treble hop twist back so again open the door bring it back a little bit faster two three and a and triple and twist back Two, three, and a. Two, three, and a. There we go. Pressing into the floor, bring it all the way out. One thing I haven't really mentioned too much is the idea, I love simplifying things. We talked about that in the leaps. Make the splits in the air, you know. Uh, how can we simplify it even further? I will sometimes mention it to dancers to squish the bug more. So when you, if you saw like a bug on the floor, Sorry to people who like bugs. I think they're 
Yeah. Ugh, bugs. If we're gonna squish a bug, we squish it and we twist all the way out. You don't just go, you don't just do that. We squish it all the way out and we press it into the floor. We put all our body weight into it. Same idea. Squish the bug. One, two. Squish the bug into the floor. Put all your body weight into it and step forward. Okay. Same idea going back. Squish the bug. Put all your weight into that foot. Okay. Again, two, three, and uh. Two, three, and uh. You can do more of them. And we're adding in an extra rhythm there. You can set, you can kind of hear the twist now more than, I mean, you can see the twist too, but you can hear it as well. Mm -hmm. One of the common misconceptions with twists is that the other leg, the one without the weight, does a lot of flipping and all this action. And while well, once you get really comfortable with it, sure, you can add a little bit of a flair to it, but not immediately. It does a whole lot less than you think. The squished bug foot does a whole lot more work than the other foot. So I want you to focus on that foot a whole lot more. Squish the bug. Now, if we're gonna go forward, we could go hop, travel, and switch. So, hop, travel, switch, step, twist. Ready? So our back foot, down, treble, switch, step, and we're gonna squish the bug. Two, three, and a. Uh. Two, three, and a. Uh. Same idea. We have our two different sounds there. We can do multiple ones. Um, yeah, add a little bit of rhythm to it. Now what's cool about the front foot ones is, and I think maybe you could add rhythm to the back ones as well in some way, but it's a little bit more straightforward. On the front foot, if we're doing front twists, we can actually brush forward as well. As we squish the bug, we can brush forward. And we can brush forward and make an extra little sound there. So instead of going step, twist, ba 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 bum bum, we can go ba 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 bum bum bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can keep the rhythms rolling, uh, which is really nice. I like that. And uh, maybe do an extra, like, non tippy uh, twist in the second one. Um, or continue it forward. Um, but again, and this kind of tags into what we were saying, how like the, the trailing leg doesn't really do too much and doesn't go out here. It comes forward and as it's coming forward, you can get a brush in there. You can get, you can brush it out and travel and step. If you're watching where that, where that's happening, it's happening just right here. It's brushing and I'm brushing it and bringing it out. Just give it a little bit of an extra flair, but it certainly can also, it can also just be nice and turned out. It doesn't need to do anything extra. That's all it is right there. So we can add a little bit more to it, but I love this trick. It's very similar to drums and all the other tricks I like that. I have a great starting point, great foundation, and can build to do some really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that's, yeah, I think that's everything. Send it over to uh, Talking to Tyler. Well, hopefully this video helped better understand how twists work and where we can use them in our dancing. And if you've made it this far in the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This, these videos take a good amount of time with setting up the scripts, videoing and editing, all that time consuming stuff. Uh, I really appreciate any and all encouragement to continue making these videos and liking these videos helps that and helps with the algorithm to get the channel out to more people. Also hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Be sure to check out my website at tylerschwartzdance.com to book your next workshop or virtual one-on-one -on -one lesson and comment down below which trick or dance you'd like a breakdown of next. Happy dancing and I will see you all in the next video. Huge shout out and thank you to everyone who's taken their support of this channel to the next level, either by becoming a patron over on Patreon or becoming a member of the channel. 
For more information about how you can support the channel more, check the description below the video. Thanks and have a good one.